everybody this is fever host with android tablets net and tablet videos info i want to do a very quick review video review of the pan digital novel seven inch color multimedia e-reader i first wanted to thank everybody at android tablets net for notifying the entire community that you could pick up one of these at kohl's for fifty nine ninety nine it's a great deal because these usually retail for two hundred dollars so anyways let's jump in this real quick <clears throat> I literally just picked this up and just got back from Kohl's so this is definitely a pure unveiling on this tablet quick little recap this is a seven inch e-reader it's a digital TFT LCD screen. It's 800 by 600 pixels. It definitely runs the Android system. And it has a built in speakers. First thing we have here is your user manual for the tablet. It's a pretty basic manual here. Put that to the side. And then we have the actual tablet here. Um, this tablet weighs a little bit more than my Gen Touch. I'm not sure of the actual weight. I know the Gen Touch 78 is 500 grams. This is definitely more than that. I'd say this is very close to a pound. Let's see. The other thing we have here is we have a kind of a docking station that you can put the Gen Touch in. Heard it's a nice little docking station. It fits just like that. Nice. Okay. Put that to the side. Second thing we have here is your USB mini power cable. And you have your power cord. So we're just gonna put these off to the side because don't really need to look at those right now. Also, as with most of these devices, you definitely want to buy a micro SDHC adapter. So we have a nice small little 4 gigabyte that you can pick up fairly cheap. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to turn on this little pan digital novel to show you what it looks like. Let's check out some of the physical features of this e-reader that we're eventually going to turn into a hybrid tablet. On the top here you have your basic physical attributes which is your SD card, your mini USB, small reset button, and your power button right here. On the right side of the tablet that when you're looking at it you have the volume up volume down and on the side the left side of the tablet you have your power docking station and on the bottom you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you have two speakers on the bottom which is a nice stereo aspect let's turn this guy on which we're gonna do now hold on a second here Save this. I just restored it to a factory default here, so let's just have this update. There's a quick little update here, and we'll go back to the beginning of the screen here. So, anyways, this is the the main section here. Um, once I hook up Wi-Fi, it's going to download some basic free books to right here. Down here you have your main little menu setting that they set up. Nothing spectacular. The main purpose of buying this and why it's such a great deal at $60 is that you can root this and turn this into a full-fledged Android operating system tablet. At $200 this e-reader is not a very good price, but at sixty dollars 
a tablet for for Android is, is a great deal. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna root this thing and we're gonna have a sixty dollar tablet that runs like a two hundred dollar tablet. This is actually a very nice screen. This is a lot better than my Gen Touch. I've had haven't had any problems with this. I'm pretty happy. Right now I'm gonna restart this thing. We're gonna power it off. And then we can load it back on and it takes about it takes about a minute for it to fully uh, turn itself back on. So anyways, this is the Novell Panda Digital. Like I said, extremely short little video review. I'm not going very long on this at all. I don't need to. Um, if I root it, maybe I'll do a longer video. But I just want to show everybody on AndroidTablets.net and TabletVideos.info that I did go down to Kohl's. I did buy it. And I also bought another tablet for somebody on AndroidTablets.net and I guarantee you I'll be shipping this off to you uh, tomorrow which is Saturday morning so I hope you enjoy it.